feel like I'm so powerful like I feel like my mind is so powerful that I will be able to outpower what's supposed to put me to sleep many these bitches looking hurt look how they thirst being popping it's a curse your man wanna look at my skirt first I'll make him fill up my purse 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 hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Adelaide Patron you know the vibes already and today I am back with another video to talk about breasts Boobs, plastic surgery or whatever i'm gonna be completely honest i was never gonna do a video like this and guys if i'm very sniffly if i'm very like ugh, hey viva today is doing a mazzoline well i'll do a video on my breast augmentation because i feel like i get a lot of questions on it and i guess as someone that has done it before it would help a lot of people i don't want to say it's common but you know a lot of girls do think about doing it but i do just want to say that it's not like i am telling you that you need to do this this is just my personal experience and I just want you know everyone to respect that this is just to help people two years ago you know if you didn't know I did get my breasts done my boobs done first of all I'm gonna talk about why I got my boobs done I'm not gonna sit here and say oh my god I was so insecure that like, I was so flat I used to stuff my bra I was thinking about it for years I'm not gonna lie to you I wasn't insecure about my boobs I, I had nice boobs like you know like you have this small nice boobs my boobs were like small nice boobs i think it was definitely just a want and i feel like people also need to understand some people can just get certain things done just out of vanity not everything is out of insecurity so i done my surgery at maya cosmetics i knew someone that had done it there before and i liked her results and i just felt like if i was going to do it somewhere i would feel a lot more comfortable knowing someone that has gone there and has good results yeah i paid for my surgery as well i was never gonna i know that i could could have had it free out of the country but like I said it was never something that I wanted to come on my channel to promote and I don't know there's just something about being put asleep in another country that I just wouldn't want to do especially in like certain countries where you know like they're a bit when it comes to surgery for my own comfortability and safety I want to do it in the UK so I booked my consultation first when I went there like the whole vibe there was just so like nice it wasn't very hospitally it wasn't like oh my god I'm about to have surgery like the vibe was really good it was really cute inside and everyone was really nice from the receptionist to like everyone that I even spoke to they was really nice so I had my consultation with this lady I really can't remember her name one thing that really really won me over is that as I was talking to her I was telling her the results that I wanted so basically as I said to you I wasn't insecure about my boobs but you know when you start thinking about doing something to your boobs you start to look at it like okay this could definitely be better and that could definitely be better my boob kind of like pushed out so it was like I had a lot of boob it was like yeah so it was like pushed out if that makes sense all my boob was on the side of my body and I, in the middle I didn't really have that much meat I would like to still have very natural boobs like I don't want it to look like oh my god her boobs are huge I want it I just want to fill up my boobs a bit and obviously have like the middle of my boobs just to have like a cleavage as I was talking to her like she told me like oh yeah she had hers done and I didn't even notice that she had hers done and I was like oh my god and she had it done in the same place as well because obviously she works there i was like oh my god your boobs look so good her boobs look so good and i was like oh my god like girl like let me touch your boobs and she was letting me touch her boobs and as i was touching her boobs her boobs felt so soft i had never touched one before like properly like played with one she was letting me touch up on her boobs so that kind of like made me feel a bit more at ease as like it's not gonna get shit as the time goes on as i talked to her I had my consultation i was feeling a lot more like yeah like more on the side like yeah i'm this is something that i'm gonna do there's obviously risks with every surgery i can't remember what the risks were they tell you the risk there you can also ask and they'll go into more detail about it so once i have my consultation i really can't remember how many consultations i had but obviously you can have as many as you want until you know you're ready to like book so i'm just gonna go fast forward into my surgery i requested to have the same surgeon as my friend because I, like i said i really liked her results and obviously certain surgeons they always have their own style and like they show you each surgeon's work and you can look at their work most of the surgeons also have like personal instagrams and stuff like that so they show a lot more of their work on their social media the surgeon that i had she actually doesn't work at that clinic anymore and a lot of these surgeons as well they work at different clinics so sometimes like if you want a particular
follicular surgeon you can actually try find a surgeon and then like see what clinic they're at like sometimes they work at multiple clinics i had booked my art paid for it and like my date was like i think it was like it was in like three or four weeks you know like as it was coming up like i started to get really nervous like i remember i was really gonna cancel it because i was just really nervous i did actually call up at one point to be like can i cancel this but i feel like because a lot of people like get cold feet towards as the surgery is approaching it's so like regular they're just they're just like why would you want to cancel it and i was just telling them i was like no you'll be fine i feel like there's a cut off date before you can even get your money back anyway and i just thought you know what like it is something i want to do i'm just overthinking the day of my surgery came i did go back i done like the whole thing by myself like i went to the consultation for everything by myself i didn't actually even tell anyone i was gonna do it until it was booked because i just wanted to just have my own i just wanted to just have my own reasoning the day of my op came it was just so like weird because obviously i live in kent but where i was having my op was in london and it was like you wasn't allowed to cream you're not, like you literally have to have a dry body and it just felt really uncomfortable like traveling all the way into london and like you know when i went in it was like in my head i felt like i was doing something that was such a big deal because this was the same place that i was going for my consultations and stuff like that and it was like i was expecting the vibe to be a lot more different because i was having surgery like i don't know why i was like, expecting it to be a lot more serious like everyone was just like oh like it's exactly the same happy cheerful like oh yeah just wait over there the whole vibe in the place was just very relaxed and i was just thinking okay this must obviously like obviously in my head i was like this must obviously be very normal but at the same time it's like well i'm really having surgery you know like it's mad my nurses and stuff were like you know just getting me ready like hooking all the things into me that needed to be hooked they had to like roll me into a lift to take me up into like where they actually do all the operation a lot of my nurses were black like they were like and i could tell they were nigerian like i feel like when you're from another country you can always tell when someone else is from another country by the way they talk and obviously they'd see my name and like they knew i don't know why a part of me kind of felt a little bit like i was a bit like just because in our culture chart it's like you just never know what they're gonna say but they were so nice obviously it's their job and at the end of the day i forget that i'm actually grown like i'm actually a grown woman but you know when you see an auntie you just automatically think that you're a little girl she was like oh dear nah, like you'll be fine and there was just all mate like there was how i was having banter and i was just like oh, i'm so nervous like and i know why like, i was really nervous to get put to sleep because i don't know why i have this thing in my head where it's like i feel like i'm so powerful like i feel like my mind is so powerful that i will be able to outpower was supposed to put me to sleep and then I won't be put asleep and then I'll wake up and I'm not supposed to wake up kind of thing she was just like talking to me she was like oh no you'll be fine like, I'm just gonna put this in like telling me like everything she was doing and as she was telling me what she was doing she must have already have put the thing in to put me to sleep and I didn't even notice and then all I all I remember saying is I remember I was about to say oh I'm starting to feel a little bit this and then that's it like that's all i remember and then obviously she's obviously done it and then i remember waking up no i remember them waking me up in the surgeon room like oh do you know like it's done now but i was still so out of it that i couldn't even i was just like uh -huh. and then like they obviously must have taken me downstairs because then i remember waking up again and then i was back in my own room and then like, i remember getting up and i was just like i was like touching myself to be like oh, like did i really do it kind of thing the most painful bit in the healing process was like the sleep the sleep was really hard i'm not gonna i don't feel like it was painful like i don't feel like the operation was painful at all but then again i have really really high pain tolerance but it was just the fact that you literally have to sleep up like you can't sleep on your chest you can't sleep on your front you just can't lay back so you literally have to sleep up like this and that's what i found the hardest thing because i just found it so uncomfortable and i felt like there was no way for me to chill in a certain position that got me comfortable honestly make sure you have like a comfortable setup i feel like i didn't really deep that i had to be sleeping up so i didn't really have a comfortable bed set up because like that whole sleeping thing sleeping up it sounds like oh yeah you could just sleep like i could just sleep like this and it'll be comfy it really wasn't it was not comfortable at all it would hurt but i feel like it would hurt like when you sleep and you sleep like a bit back i feel like then when i would get up it's like i could feel the pressure all coming back down into my boobs it's like a weird feeling of the pressure in my chest really tight feeling i feel like with breast augmentations they definitely definitely look better over time i remember like when i first had it done i liked it but i still felt like there was a bit up like there was very like stand 
up here and like people will be like oh like your boobs look so fake but it's like yeah of course it will because I literally just got it done so because mine's been two years they look I literally they literally like drop but like when you first get them done like when you go like this they're literally it's still literally like this like standing up like this whereas as a day like years years but as time goes on it starts to drop drop and drop more so now mine's dropped I can like push it up lay it down but yeah it's just it's just one of those things that look better over time definitely i think i was gonna do it under the muscle but she was like because my boobs push out a lot she was like if she puts it under the muscle it will literally just make my boobs push out even more so like i'll just have big boobs and it will literally i'll still have like the gap in my chest area and it will just be pushed out so she was like the best thing for me to do to have like it full on the inside as well is to have it over the muscle but yeah my boobs are exactly the same shape as it was before I had it done it's just literally it's like just this bit is just more full people say you lose sensation in your nipple I never had sensation in my nipple prior so I was never really bothered about it my nipple I will say was numb for a very long time like I feel like like even like a year on that like, my nipple was numb like I literally wouldn't feel anything in my nipples but now I do have like feeling back in my nipples but it's not as sensitive as it was before but I never used to have sensation in my nipples so I was not bothered if I lost my sensation in my nipple because there was nothing to lose in the first place but I know for some people like their nipples are like it makes me go berserk I've not had any complications my scarring is literally like non-existent I could barely see my scarring for like obviously with any operation you want to do like definitely look into where you want to do it so you know you two can have like a good experience and stuff like that actual surgical operations you should go somewhere like where you're 100 percent comfortable with and you're confident in because not every surgery goes smoothly and stuff but obviously thank god mine did i mean if there's anything that i'm missing in this video let me know guys literally it's so hard for me to literally talk right now like my whole throat eyes and nose is literally i feel like it's shutting down right now so it's like i'm trying not to talk like breathe while i'm talking so if I seem very mellow, it's because I'm trying not to do too much. Otherwise, my nose will just start picking up. Like, it's so sensitive right now. Don't forget to follow me on my Instagram. Subscribe to my YouTube. I'm nearly at 100k. And guys, I really, 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 really want to hear 100k soon. Do a 100k celebration kind of thing. Do you know what I'm saying? But, you know, the vibes are busy, B. You know, we're doing the damn thing, B. Anyway, see. See, I've done too much. See how I do Oh, see, I've done too much. Can you see? I can't do too much. Like, it's really trying to humble me. It's really trying to humble me. But anyway, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Minnie's bitches look at her. Look how they thirst. Being poppin' is a curse. Your man wanna look at my skirt first. I'll make him feel I make purse.